If you wanna make a miso soup but you are too lazy to cook on the stove, I got you covered in this video. Today we are making homemade healthy instant miso soup which takes you no minutes and two delicious meal ideas to repurpose this homemade instant miso soup. I happen to have two kinds of miso paste in my fridge, yellow miso and white miso. Pick whatever miso you like. Before we start, let me show you how you can store the miso paste. After removing the cover, seal the top with a plastic wrap completely, then keep them in the fridge or freezer. Miso doesn't like the oxygen and high temperature. Even if you keep miso in the freezer, it won't be completely frozen, so you can use it straight from the freezer, which is kind of cool, right? These are the toppings I use for miso soup today. Take about 180 grams of miso paste. You don't need to be too precise. Then we are going to add stocks into the miso paste. Now you have two options. The first one is the powder type of stock. It can be kombu stock, fish stock, vegetable stock. Another option is a dashi packet. I recommend picking one without any additives. Inside of the packet, there are chunks of dried fish, kelp, and shiitake mushroom. It varies depending on the brand. Since this powder is more widely available, we are going to use powder one for today. Add about 2 tablespoons of kombu dashi powder and give it a good mix until everything is fully distributed. If you taste the miso soup is a bit bland, then add more stock powder to your liking from the next time. By the way, if you are looking for more recipes using miso paste, I made a playlist. Link is in the description box below. Divide them into half. Now it's the fun part. We are going to add lots of toppings into the miso mixture. I have dried wakame seaweed. It's gonna expand into double once it's hydrated, so keep it about one tablespoon of it. This is dried daikon radish. Do you have access to this? The texture becomes chewy, stringy, and pretty enjoyable in the miso soup. It's also high in fiber and calcium. Chop them into little pieces. Mix that again. Hey. On a plastic wrap, make a bed of toasted sesame seeds. Then place about one tablespoon of miso mixture. Wrap them up and twist it on top and repeat the same process until you use up all the miso mixture. Once we have this miso bowl, all we have to do is take one miso bowl into the serving bowl and pour the hot water to make a miso soup. No pot and knives are needed. I'll show you how to enjoy it later. I was the one who thought, what's the point making a miso bowl as a meal prep? You can just make one in a pot anytime you want. But having this miso bowl ready in the freezer gives you a better chance to get, eat more miso soup, which guides you healthy eating. Let's move on to the next flavor. Into the miso mixture, add dried shiitake mushroom. It needs to be thinly sliced, otherwise it will be too hard to chew. Then add canned corn, followed by chopped spring onion. Then mix. These are my kids' favorite. Later, we're gonna make a risotto using this miso bowl, so stay tuned. I love to use dried ingredients because they last longer and easy to make, plus often more nutritious. But you can certainly use fresh vegetable. Just make sure to cook the vegetable before you mix into the miso, especially the root vegetable like sweet potatoes and carrots. The one it contains a lot of moisture like cucumber, tomato, even tofu is not really suitable for the miso bowl. It can be kept in the fridge 
and freezer, fridge for one week and freezer for three weeks. Just like I said, it won't be frozen. Let me share other recommended toppings. This one is called Tororo Kombu, which is like a thinly shredded dried kombu and dried tofu. You go. Japanese seven spices. To enjoy this homemade instant miso soup, just mix your miso bowl and hot water, then dissolve it completely. That's it. If you are the type of person who buys instant miso soup, please try this miso bowl. It's so much more cost effective and versatile. It's also such a fun activity with kids. One time, I asked my kids to mix the whatever you want and they added chocolate into the miso paste. That's not the combination I can recommend to you guys, but the point is really be creative on what to pair with. Now let me show you two delicious meals using this miso bowl. First one is a miso risotto in 6 minutes. To a pot, add water and soy milk. I added soy milk a little more than water to make it rich and creamy, but really up to you. Also use any type of milk on hand. If you are looking for the best way to use up the leftover rice, I think this is it. Add the rice directly into the pot and roughly break them up with the spatula. Then cook them on mid heat. Make sure to stir it periodically. You want to keep the low to mid heat since it will boil over pretty easily. When the liquid is reduced in half and thicken up, time to add your favorite miso bowl. I picked the one with corn. My kids love corn and rice, so this is like a perfect combination. Put miso bowl directly into the pot. Once the miso is fully dissolved, have a quick taste test. Adjust a taste with salt if it's needed. Mmm, it's sweet. It's sweet, Off the heat and ready to be enjoyed. It only took me six minutes or so. For adult, sprinkle black pepper. And some cheese if you want to. I often make this for a quick lunch, and adding frozen veggies is another great option to boost nutrition. Mm. Next, it's a mochi miso soup. Just only a miso soup is not filling enough, <laughs> at least for me. So to complete the meal in one bowl, add mochi, which is a rice cake. To a pan on mid heat, cook mochi for about 4 minutes on each side. When the mochi pops up and becomes soft in the inside, it's ready. It took me so long, so I covered the lid to speed up the process. But this step is optional. But you definitely have a nice jar on both sides. Add mochi into the miso soup and that's it. Mochi will start to melt as the time passes. The idea is actually from the one of my viewers. 
You guys have been giving me so many valuable ideas, so thank you very much. Making miso soup doesn't have to be one way. There are so many ways to get creative. I hope you got some inspiration from this video. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye, またね。これどうやって食べるのかっていうか分かんないよね。